Hi Aries, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 33 Tarot and we're just going to jump right in and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you Aries, alright? And uh, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node, so of course it's not going to resonate with all of you. Excuse me, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel. At Possessed777, and I do offer same-day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Yeah, clearly it's not working. I see what's going on. Okay, Aries, you, okay, I don't know how to describe this, only you're going to know. Whoever this is, this is someone, first let's talk about someone who's in a marriage or relationship with you. What they're, in the, in, and you, this, you know that they are in um, occult, divinatory, spiritual, paranormal type stuff. What they're saying is you are so passive of an Aries they're trying to get rid of you and have you break up with them first. So because they are, I'm not, even, they're not even scared. They just don't, <laughs> they're such a Virgo. Sorry. They're such a Virgo. They're such a Virgo. <laughs> I, because they're being a Virgo, for a lot of you, it's a Virgo, but it doesn't have to be. I do see Virgo energy here. But so what they're saying is, let me literally do magic so that Aries can leave me first. And then they get pissed off because either once, one, I said it first, so now they can't do it, or they tried it. I'm going to say they already tried it. It clearly it didn't work. It's not working. Their magic isn't working. It's because, well, I'm not going to go into why it's not working. Um, it's a little half-assed how they did it. But anyway, what I'm saying here, uh, Aries, is this is a specific message for some of you here, is right away, my husband's trying not to laugh. But... I hear tattoos are a good idea. <laughs> I don't know if you heard him, he said, I hear tattoos are a good idea. <laughs> yeah, well, oh my gosh. I made me think of when I wanted to get face, I wanted to get your name tatted on my face. I still do though. Let me know. Would you guys, you imagine right here, Ryan, just boom. That'd be a statement. Do you not think? Okay. Anyway, I'm crazy, but it's fine. Crazy for him. So it's okay. Now back, back to this Virgo. Virgo, get out of here. Stop it. I'm talking to Aries. Hold on, Virgo. Just sit down and relax. I'm not even judging you. I'm just saying, Aries, you are, you know, a nice cornbread fed, calm person. Okay? You're passive. They're saying that you're just passive. They're saying you're not a fiery Aries. Okay? But it's probably because you're an Aries sun, not an Aries moon. What they're saying is they have to do a little bit of hoodoo, hoodoo, hoodoo to get you to leave them. And they get pissed off that nothing's working. Okay? That's not for all of you, but I just had to tell you that only you know who you are. That's specific. Now... The rest of you in general, it actually kind of lines up and matches, but they start out knowing that there's no more heartbreak or pain about you. It's actually a very realistic, like, yeah, I think I'm done with Aries or I'm breaking up with Aries. Now they may have already broken up with you or they definitely know that they are done with you. There's no feelings. It's over. They also don't have any issues with you. And this is where they basically a few things they don't really want to manifest and co-create with you and try that hard with plans and hobbies and skills and tools and everything and even with what they're good at they don't want to try that hard so whether it's magic occult paranormal stuff divinatory things whether it's tarot whether it's you know um their own talents with other things that they're very good at non-spiritually related they're not trying that hard right now okay it's a little bit of a desperate lazy hack basically it's making them not want to move on and move forward. So they don't want to say anything or do anything. They just want to keep kind of like, okay, everything's fine, Aries. Everything's fine. Let's just keep going. They're bringing all the toxic baggage with them and with you. And then this is where they get really irritated and pissed off. One, they want to fight you. They want to cause some issues, drama, conflict, problems, or they're fighting themselves internally because they know. So...
Yeah, okay. I think I spooked them. Sorry, uh, uh, Crosswatcher. I'm not trying to scare you. Yeah, now they're like, well, shit, what the hell is this? Okay, so now they're confused. Now they don't know what the hell's going on. Something happened here, and uh, after this fiery energy, whether it's towards you, like in terms of like conflict and drama and all that, they're deep into their their fears or thoughts, their worries, they're paranoid, their illusions, delusions, like they're freaking out now, okay? Unless something else is influencing them in terms of like, you know, taught like negative energies and entities and whatnot, fucking around with them, only you'll know. If it's not, you know, for all of you, of course, but not, they don't know what to do. So now what they're saying is, never mind. I'm going to just be quiet and I'm going to commit with Aries and stay with Aries and that's it. Now, others of you, what they're saying is, I'm going to sign this contract and stay in this contract with Aries. Or they're like, I need to go to a spiritualist or a therapist to get information to figure out what to do. Hold on. I got two cards here. Right. And regardless, whatever this is, it looks like here that they are still wanting to progress and move on with you travel relocate they want progression they want things to move forward in a fast way here with you and them and they actually are, are going through um a huge spiritual awakening they're realizing what's going on but they might be get yeah they're getting their ass smacked by justice okay so life is coming in reality setting in for this person and now it's messing with them but it makes sense that there's contracting issues going on they, for some of you, they don't know how to get out or get into this contract. For some of you, it's legal matters. Others of you, it's kind of like they're battling divorcing you, but they could be in the middle of the divorce with you. There's something legal or illegally or political stuff going on, possibly for some of you here with whatever's going on. Regardless, now they're pissed. Now they're livid. Now they're ready to attack. Now they're going to talk their shit. And if it's none of those things, then they are just fuming of frustration and irritation because they're trying to figure out what to do about you and them. Yeah. Okay. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it, Crosswatcher. They're like, well, what the fuck? So they're disconnected from you emotionally. They're kind of like, well, then you know what? I'm just forget it. Never mind. Let me not even start anything. Let me not even get mad. Like they know they put themselves in this mess with you. And so unfortunately, what they're saying is they're not going to trust themselves. They're not going to listen to their own intuition and gut feeling and their own gifts about what they know they got to do about you because it's too real. It's too deep. It's too serious. They're not ready. So what they're saying is they're still willing to be committed and stay here with you, but to truly like marry you and take it to the next level and really be that beautiful, divine kind of like relationship, it's a no-go. They're not listening to themselves about something, okay? And they are trying to use tarot, occult, paranormal, spiritual, whatever type of stuff to figure out what to do. Sadly, it's making them spiral and go a little cuckoo in the head, okay? Um... And it's messing with them. And unfortunately, what they're saying is for some of you, they're just going to remain unfaithful. They're going to remain in denial. They're going to remain not listening to themselves or anyone or anything, unfortunately. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And that's about it. Okay, thank you, bye.